The death of Bob Saget came as a shock to many around the world, and news spread quickly about the comedian and television actor's death. Unfortunately, the news might have spread a little more quickly than intended, thanks to the actions of two police officers who shared details before the department had a chance to notify his family. The results of an internal investigation now revealed those two officers were disciplined for their actions of breaking protocol and for sharing news of the actor's death prematurely. An Orange County Sheriff's Department report stated that two deputies received disciplinary actions for leaking the news of Bob Saget's death via text message to those outside the know. CNN reported that both deputies gave testimony on their involvement and were punished. The exact nature of the punishment is not known at this time. Deputy Emiliano Silva was one of the officers called to the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Orlando, where Bob Saget passed. According to the report, Silva sent a text message to his brother and told him about the death. Silva's brother then tweeted R.I.P. Bob Saget on social media but later deleted the tweet. Even so, the tweet resulted in a bunch of media inquiries into the matter, which helped spread word about the actor's passing. Silva mentioned he had no malice in sharing the news and wasn't thinking when he shared the news with his brother. Another deputy, Stephen Reed, was also linked in with the leak. Reed's involvement was discovered in a reply to the original tweet by Emiliano Silva's brother, in which another account holder mentioned knowing someone in the department who confirmed the news. Reed later testified that he was off-duty when officers arrived at the scene of Bob Saget's death but texted a couple of neighbors when he learned of the news. Reed admitted that, in hindsight, he shouldn't have sent the messages as it violated the department's policy. Authorities found Bob Saget dead in his hotel room on January 9. The cause of death was ruled as head trauma, but no foul play or drug use was suspected. Saget was on tour at the time of his death and tweeted a seemingly normal message thanking fans at a recent show just hours before news broke of his death. The news of the discipline is just the latest in the aftermath of Bob Saget's passing. In other recent news, Netflix subscribers recently enjoyed a tribute to the actor John Stamos and had some words for the Tony Awards for excluding Saget from the memoriam segment. Hopefully, with this update that the deputies who leaked the news of his death were punished for their actions, the family and friends of the actor can further heal and continue to celebrate his life. Bob Saget is no longer with us, but his work lives on via Netflix and other streaming services. There's never a bad time to revisit Full House, after all, or even the Fuller House reboot, even if it is a little different than the original.